So uh, welcome. Um, we've got with us James, um, who's uh, training out of ground Grindhouse MMA Burn. Grindhouse MMA Burton. It's a mouthful. It is a mouthful. <laughs> I was like Groundhouse for a second. Grindhouse MMA Burton. Yeah. Okay. And you've just competed first time in ninety one point five kilo. Uh huh. And uh, white belt. Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. And the adult category. Yeah. And how old are you? Twenty three. Twenty three. I don't know why I think about that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put you on the spot there. Yeah. Um, no, so um, unfortunately you didn't get uh, the double U. No, it got smashed, but it's all right. It's got smashed. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you got smashed, but okay, you didn't. You didn't. Yeah, lost, you lost both matches. Yeah. 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 I've only been training five months, so it was just to sort of see where I'm at. Because when you're rolling the same people all the time, you sort of know what they're doing. They know what you're doing. It's hard to see where you're at. Yes. So yeah, just thought I'd try it. Has it been a positive experience yeah. for you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I feel better now having lost than I did waiting to do it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And you, nerves. You've been here for a few hours, right? Yeah, because um, all the other lads I was training with, they they were on at like one o'clock, uh -huh. and I've not been on until five o'clock. So. Yeah. Yeah, I've been here all day. It's a toughie. Yeah. It is what it is. And you got the family with you for support? Yeah, my missus came and her sister as well. Um, my well, missus had no choice because she's the only one that drives, so yeah. she had to come. She had to come. Yeah. yeah. But your sister wanted to support you? Uh, her sister, yeah. Oh, yeah, because they both train as well. So. Jiu Jitsu? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Um, but her sister's only 15, so she's waiting. She wants to compete, but obviously it's hard to find somewhere that's under 16. Yeah. And uh, your missus, has she competed? No, no, she doesn't want to compete. She's she comes today and she's like, I'm definitely not competing. It's really? Much, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she just, I kind of force her to do it. Like, she enjoys it, but sometimes she hates it. Okay. So I'm like, no, go keep going. I've paid for it now, you're going to train. Are you guys all training uh, uh, Grand House. for the, for the oh. same amount of time? Me a little bit longer. Um, the way it worked out was just because she would have to come, because we live in Derby, uh -huh. she would have to come pick me up from Bird. Yeah. And it's like, they might spend on fuel to drop me off, go home, pick me up, go, you may as well just train. Yeah. So now she's started training. And then a sister, because she wanted another girl there that she could train with, so she got a sister into it, and then yeah, yeah. Um, and how how does she um, approach? Like, th will she roll with anyone at the gym, or does yeah. she? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, it, at first, she was a bit weirded out by it because she was like, "I don't really want to roll with other men." Yeah, she was weird. But now, yeah, she goes, she was mental. She's yeah. like, yeah, probably gives it a good go. She taps a few of the lads as well. Really. Yeah. She's enjoying it then. Yeah, yeah. She, she'll say she doesn't. She said, "I can see her looking now." She, she'll say that she doesn't enjoy it, but she does. Yeah. Awesome. Um, so, is there anything of note about um, your roles? And anything that you think you could have done better? Um, any, any, um, any good techniques employed by the by your opponent? Did you get anything off? One thing I should have done is gone for the single leg. That was like the thing we were drilling. And my coach was like saying, go for the single leg, just go for it. And not once did I go for it, so. Why didn't you? Just nerves, I think. Nerves. Like, you two, I, like, because I had a K1 fight um, two weeks ago. Okay. Um, I won that, luckily. Did you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but that's, the same thing, the guy just, the first round, he just smashed me in the face because I was too focused on everyone else. And yeah. I was like, oh, actually, switch on. Can, yeah. Yeah, focus on what's going on. So, yeah, it's just nerves. Make stupid mistakes because I'm not 100% in it. Yeah, but that's what you got to do. More competitions and just get used to it. And I guess that's why you can be so chilled about uh, not not getting a W today because you want you want a, a fight like two yeah. weeks ago. And also, like I was saying to my coach and to my missus, I was like, the main goal for me is to go into MMA. So the jiu-jitsu competition is just to go against people who are just all about jiu-jitsu to see where my grappling's at. Uh -huh. But it's not as high up on the priority for me. To just win loads of jiu jitsu competitions. Yeah. I'm just doing them for the experience and to go up against guys who really do take it seriously and want to go really far in it. And evidently, there is a there is a level difference because they all they all look really good to be fair. Yeah. And they beat me so. Is that... um, so you you practice MMA. Yeah. yeah. And your missus too. Sometimes, sometimes she just does the jiu jitsu because she doesn't like uh, she doesn't like the striking as much. But she says that, and then when she's there, she'll get into it. 
and she loves it. But the thought of doing it, she's like, oh, I hate it. I don't want to do it anymore. But tell her to come in. What's her name? Sam. Sam! It's just in the window. Just trying to mm. Come in and watch if you want. Sorry? Come Sit in down. and watch if you want. <laughs> We've been talking about you, because oh, okay. you're a j Jits player as well, right? Yeah. Um, do you want to come on for a sec? Come on and chat with us? <laughs> yeah, okay. Yes, come on. <laughs> okay, um, so what's your name? Sam. Sam. And you also train at Grindhouse MMA... Burn. Burton. 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 Yeah. Grindhouse MMA Burton. Um, so um, James was telling us how you practice BJJ as well. Yes. He got you into it? Yes. Um, Forced me into it. He what? Forced me into Forced. it. Forced into <laughs> yeah. it. So you're trying to jitch your way out of doing it now. Well, no, I enjoy it. I do enjoy it quite a bit. But she has a love hate relationship. It's a love hate relationship. It's a constant roller coaster of I hate it, I don't want to go anymore. She loves it. Until and then she one week, so. and then I go back the next week, and I'm like, oh my god, I love it. I'm so good at it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I I can understand that, especially. I mean, you've been doing it five months. You said. Yeah. So, you've been so I've been doing it about a month less. Yeah. A month less, four months. You're still in the in the early stages. Early stages. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I felt um, I felt uh, that I hit a big progression after about a year and two months, mm -hmm. and where I started to feel like, oh, I'm catching up to like maybe a blue belt level. Um, but I can't really talk because I'm not uh, in shape at the moment. And <laughs> just right, neither am I. Since I won, since I won that K1 fight, I've just done fuck all really. Just yeah. I mean, that was only two weeks ago, yeah. so he's barely even like got yeah, to I thought, chill. I thought, oh, I'll have like a, a deload week after the fight, and then my coach was like, yeah, Royal Rumble, like Jiu Jitsu Royal Rumble. Two in a week. And yeah. I was going with some. I, first, I went with 100 kilos. I must have done half an hour rolling with him, and then the the next day it was with the lad who's 120, and we went for 49 minutes straight. <laughs> yeah. Rolling. We both in the end. We just didn't tap each other. Like now we're done. <laughs> Is that so? That's something that you do in your gym. Yeah, like leading up to a competition because he's trying to replicate. You know, you don't really know when you're going to go on. You don't know how much rest you're going to get. Yeah. So it's like you draw a number out of a bag, and if you've got the highest number out of everyone waiting to go on, every ninety seconds another person goes on the mat. Okay. And you just keep going. So you could end up rolling for the whole hour, or you could end up rolling. You know, five minutes and then have five minutes rest. But it just depends. Hmm. Which to try and replicate, you know, competition. You yeah, don't my know first Royal Rumble. Around. My first Royal Rumble. I think I nearly puked after it. It's like yeah. ten minutes as well. I only did ten <laughs> minutes, but it was because I was going against a guy. I mean, we're, we're about the same weight, but he's still a bit stronger than me because I was going. I was really going for it, and when we, I, I think I tapped him actually. I think yeah, I was really, yeah, I was really proud of yeah. myself. I tapped him. What did him. you get? What did I get? I, I don't know because I was too busy getting smashed. My most board. common. Um, the suspicions that I get is um, either a Kimura or an Americana. Or an Americana from the top? Yeah. Side so control. Side control. Yeah. And then you ang turn around to yeah. get the angle, yeah? yeah? To yeah. the head, yeah. towards the head. Yeah. Nice. I think because, yeah, I'm quite good at putting my weight down and, and he doesn't have enough strength to push me off. Because, yeah, it, it, Owen, the, he was competing as well today. And um, me and him are always rolling because we're about the, we're the only, only two there that are most similar in weight. Everyone yeah. else is either like over 100 kilos or 60 kilos. <laughs> okay. um, but yeah, no, it was great. I mean, I nearly, I, I, I did puke afterwards a little bit. Did you? Yeah, a little I was bit. so exhausted. I was so like, oh my God, it's shaking. I've, I've definitely had that, um, especially here, where um, I've just, like, after the roll, I've had to go and, like, I can't do anything. Like, I, like, I can't get my breath back. Yeah. Um, so I felt after that first oh, one. No, it's I was horrible. Like, did you? I, I was out of breath, but you know, you know when, like, you run for a long time, you get that really cold, like, sore feeling in your throat? That's what it felt like. I was like, so weird. Yeah. 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 So um, what was the first technique you guys um, started to hit in, in uh, live rolls, live sparring? Arm triangle was the first thing. Head and arm choke, whatever you want to call it. Head and arm choke? Because I don't even know. I don't think we got... I just ended up watching a YouTube video, and I'd only just started. And luckily, the lad who was there with me, he only just started as well. So I could just try out these weird things I'd see on the internet. And I still do that to it now. It's Kimura for me, yeah. Kimura um, for you. I, yeah, I, yeah I'm just quite good at getting out of guard, hopping out onto mount, and then just scooting it out into side control. And that's just the first thing, because their arm's always right there, and I'm like, okay, thank you. Yeah. 
So, um, so you've got a sweep. Did you, is that what you're saying? So, say you're in you're in guard. Um, no, I'm just when they try and like when they try and, and grab your leg with their legs. What, what is that called again? Half guard. When they half guard, yeah, I'm quite I'm quite good at getting out of that, and I just instantly like slide, jump, slide and jump you know inside control. If she's if you get her in guard, her first technique is just to put the elbows in the thighs. That's okay. what she does. Just rubs them in there. Well, yeah, everyone does that at the gym. <laughs> everyone has bruises on their thighs everyone else from the elbows. Everyone else tries to do the technique properly, and then that's the last resort. But Sam just straight. Straight, yeah, yeah, yeah. just get out of guard. Mm -hmm. um, what about your escapes? Escape from mum? She never escapes from mum. No, good, no? <laughs> not, and, uh, yet, not yet, not yet. No. Yeah. Side control? Side control. I'm actually decent, yeah. If it's, if it's with Owen, then yeah. But if it's somebody heavier than me, then absolutely not. As soon as I'm underneath, I'm like, okay, just, I'm, I'm, I'm tapping. That was, that was the first thing that I learned how to do, um, was escape from mum. So I managed to get it dead quick. And uh, yeah. I just used to bait them out sometimes, and uh, once they mount, it do the technique um, and get out. That's what I should have done today. I sort of sat in mount too long, let me get comfortable. I should have, as soon as they're going for it, tried to get out. I'm quite lazy. My coach says I'm quite a lazy like roller. I'll just chill. I'll just ch I'll chill in yeah, guard. I'll chill under each side control moment. for the whole five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> waiting for a moment where you can do. Don't waste too much energy. So I'm starting to pick up on that as well. I'm just, especially if I'm underneath, I'm just trying to chill, chill, trying to get my frames in, I'm just trying to chill, because yeah. I use up energy really quickly, and it makes me feel sick, yeah. I've, um, so I've rolled against a uh, purple belt recently, and one of, a, a bit of advice that he gave me was, don't stop moving, mm. and he's like, if you, if you stop moving, that's when you die. Yeah. So I think with that, when you get, when you progress, I mean, I, I'm, I don't know this, but I think when you progress, like if you're in mount, that's when, that's when you need to turn it up and, yeah. and get out of there. From my understanding, I mean, I'm only a blue belt, so don't take this as gospel, right? <laughs> that's what I said to Owen, because he got, someone got him in mount and he was there for the whole, like, four minutes. And I was telling him, I was like, oh, if someone goes to mount, you just got to go mental and just try and get out of it. And then I proceeded to do the complete opposite of what I told him to do. Yeah, it's easier said than done, <laughs> yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Especially when you're out there. So, um, Sam, James said that um, you're a no on competing. Since you came here today, you saw what's going oh, on. Oh, yeah, it's just, oh, it's, it's, it's so a lot. Your sister was like, she's seen it. She's like, yeah, I want to compete, I want to compete. And you've seen it, you're like, <laughs> I'm like, no, thank you. No? No, I'm scared. Scared. Yeah. Uh, did you see the ladies compete? Yes, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, they looked really good. They looked really good. Well, yeah, to be honest, I think looking at the men's, it really scares me because, you know, they're all big, massive. It looks like they're going to snap someone's arm. Yeah. But when I watched the girls, it, it was a bit more chill. I was like, okay, maybe. Maybe if I come back another time and have well, a look again. I, I would highly recommend it. Um, really just scared. the... Um, everything that's around it, the lead up to it, the training for the lead up to it, the day, <laughs> the competition, and the buzz you get after... So a lot of nerves, yeah. a lot of uh, thought expended on it, but I would, I would uh, recommend it because you're not going to get, uh, you're not going to find that situation normally unless you go out to looking try. for fights and yeah. uh, try that film. <laughs> you got time for that? Start go out looking for street, fights. Yeah. Go, go, go to town. Go, go to Mackey's <laughs> and start swinging. That's why I think it's so good for James because he really needs to. Because everyone at our gym is either too light for him or too heavy, so it's good. To I'm see in that weird him. way where I get stuck with all the heavy guys. Yeah, you know, it's really good to see him with <laughs> now with people his weight. Yeah. So now he knows where he is. Now he knows what he needs to like train and focus. I on. should also focus on maybe entering the weight class that I'm closest to. Because <laughs> <laughs> my my fight was at 93 um, kilos. So I, when I entered for this, I thought oh, I'll do 91.5 because then it's not too far off. But then my fight, I was underweight for that. Um, I was like 92. And then this, somehow I've just lost like another two kilos in that time. Yeah. I don't know how, but it's happening. So I'm working all the time, walking around. Didn't have a good deal load week, that's what it was. Didn't have a good deal load, yeah. 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 Just yeah. full yeah. send all the time. Yeah, so he's just, he's just tired. Yeah. Well, you're still a, a young gun, aren't you? So, is that the family? Uh, are so they... That's Tez. He's a blue belt. Okay. He's one of the, the heavy lads. Yeah. <laughs> that I have to heavy roll lads. with and get crushed by. Uh -huh. 
my sister was out. And it's well. my younger sister as well, who I, because I was the only woman at the time, so I dragged my sister into it. Mm -hmm. So then we both go. But now she loves it more than me. Okay. Yeah. She's amazing. She, she wants to do boxing and all sorts. Who, who wins out of you guys? Well, I'm heavier than her. And I'm older than her, so I usually win. Yeah, cool. Because <laughs> yeah. we started around the same right time. Now. That's what it is. I mean, yeah, sometimes if we get If one of them mad. taps the other, the, the one that gets tapped gets so mad. Really? <laughs> no, um, I've, I've chilled now. I've actually chilled now. Especially yeah. because, like, she's, she's good at technique and all that, but she tries to use her weight, but she doesn't have enough weight to use. So I just lay on top of her and I'm like, right, okay, you can't do anything. <laughs> nice. You use your attributes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm stronger than her, I use my strength. Um, heavier than her, so I just lay on her. <laughs> she, she's like... <laughs> and she's 50, how old are you, if you don't mind? 23. 23? Yeah. So I'm, I'm sort of, uh, what's the word, I'm gonna predict that 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 skill gap or that uh, those attributes aren't gonna... It's gonna level out. Oh yeah. Yeah, Everybody it's gonna level yeah, out. Definitely. And she's 15, so by the time she's 23, she could be a black belt, right? Literally, yeah, she yeah. could be. And she's um, and, and the thing is that she loves it so much as well. I mean, watching the competitions here, she's really wants to do it. Really watching James it. doing K one, she's like, I think I want yeah, to do boxing. I want to do well, kickboxing. Yeah. I want to do MMA. Um, so she's really into it. Yeah, awesome. she's good. Yeah, it's good for a girl to learn how um, how to fight. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, all right, guys. Thanks for coming on Jits Crips and chatting. Yeah. Uh, it's been a pleasure to meet you. Um, so uh, James and Sam uh, from Grindhouse MMA, Burton. Yes. yes. Um, yeah, thanks a lot, guys. Thanks. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, guys. Right. That, that well, was...
Uh, so the sign of the absolute, if you need any words of encouragement, follow our referee Krishnan. He will give you the words of advice to pass that barrier and enter the absolute. You do not need to meddle. Under the elbows, Tom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.